Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <sighs> like I've not made my bed, hang on. Yes, my name's Jodie if you're new here. Welcome. Welcome. Before I forget, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So it's Monday morning and I thought I'd pick up the camera and just film a bit of a weekly, weekly vlog. Now, I think the lip filler video, it will be out. Dissolving my lip filler, I mean. I'll leave that video linked down below if you haven't already seen it. This is Monday morning. Well, it's actually half 11 now and I'm still not dressed. I've had a little bit of a lazy morning this morning. We had a bit of a lie-in. We would, we usually get up at like between five and a half past, get straight to the gym um, and then that starts our day. We've had a very hectic weekend and I was just exhausted, I'll be honest. Watched the Tommy Fury and Jake Paul fight last night, fell asleep, fell asleep halfway through and then woke up right at the end and obviously Tommy won. Uh, so happy about that. I'm going to go and do the food shop this morning but I just don't know whether I want to bore you with that. I buy the same stuff all the time. If you need to see what I eat or what, like the kind of things that I buy, I literally mention it every single week. Um, but I did start writing a list last night of meals that we want to eat for the week because I feel like that is the way. Because oh, I feel like that's the way forward. It gives you an idea of what things to buy, and that way nothing's wasted. Like I guess at the end of the week, if there's nothing in the fridge. At least things are not getting thrown away. We did start writing a little list last night. Um, I've got so tonight we're going, I'm going to do like a chicken dinner because I've got some carrots and parsnips that I bought last week that need eating. So I'm going to get a chicken in the bag. Love them. Dead dead easy. And do like a chicken dinner with some like gravy and veg. Really nice. And then tomorrow we're going to have steak and asparagus. Wednesday I'm going to do um, spaghetti bolognese. So I'll get some mints. Do salmon on Thursday. And then Friday I might do like chicken thigh stir fry. So that's teas for the week done. I did say I wasn't gonna bore you with all that because it is in it like every single one of my vlogs. I always show my food shop. I am going to, so I'm gonna go and get dressed. I've just done my makeup, so I'm gonna go and get dressed and take you about on the rest of the day. I, my beautiful man got me this rose for Valentine's Day, which was two weeks ago. And the rose is still thriving to the point where I wonder if it's actually real. <laughs> I think it is. Now hear me out sisters, I didn't sleep in this outfit but this is like my, like, just get up and chuck something on. I've had a shower and then I didn't get dressed, I just chucked these clothes on which I've probably had on for like three days now. I, do, I don't really have pyjamas, like this is my pyjamas. These Adenola joggers, I am obsessed with, like I've got the Adenola jog joggers and the hoodie because um, I managed to get my hands some, on some without them being out of stock. And I have not stopped wearing them. I'm I'm just in them all the time. It's an issue. Stefan is like, have you not got any other clothes? Because this is literally all I wear. But they're so comfy. And um, so I'm, obviously I'm going out now um, to do the food shop and stuff. Is this acceptable? Because I don't, I don't want to put, I don't want to get dressed. I don't want to get dressed. That's really bad. Just absolutely comfort over everything nowadays is just, comfort is key.
Hello my loves. I'm in a bit of a strange mood. I'm in a bit of a strange mood, I'm gonna be honest, I can't lie. Oh, look at the mess in the background, I just can't cope. Right, we're realistic over here on this channel and you know, not every day is the best day ever. But we've gotta find some good in each day. And do you know what, no, I've had a nice day. Right, so, let me explain. Yeah, yesterday I think the last thing you saw was me putting my food trap away. And then I sort of get to a bit of a point in the afternoon where I don't really know what to do with myself. And I was waiting for Stefan to come home from work. He came home from work. I went to the gym and then we went for a walk with Charlie B and then we, we got in bed. Morning, I wanted to like, I had this vision of like getting up at half five, filming in the morning, like doing a full washing machine. Doing a full like morning routine, like whatever. That didn't happen. Got up. Took Charlie out, got home, got ready, went to the gym, came back, and then I went to the gym again with my mum. Again, it was another thing that I wanted to do, like a whole chat of, basically my mum, I hope she doesn't mind me saying this, doesn't have a lot of confidence in the gym, and I want to help her gain that confidence. So on days when we're both off work, we're both free, I want to get in there with her, help her gain a bit of confidence in the gym. Did a little bit of a, like a circuit session with her. I'm gonna show you the kind of circuits that I do. I, I honestly, I don't know whether anyone, that washing machine, I don't film what I do in the gym because I honestly don't know whether anyone gives a shit. Like, I don't know anyone, whether anyone actually cares. I'm really, really not sure about that. But I watch Megan Grubb, I've got her on in the background, and she does, like, she'll do, like, a daily vlog, and she will include, like, what she does at the gym. But I like it, so surely other people like it? Not sure. Anyway, I need to start doing that. I need to just, like, get a grip and start filming myself in the gym because, not gonna lie, I am like, right, yeah, tomorrow I'm taking my camera in, I'm gonna film myself in the gym, and then... I don't take it or I take it and I'm like oh, I'm too shy anyway so me and my mum did a little circuit in the gym she really enjoyed it and then sort of come home and crashed and burned um I am procrastinating I'm not in the mood for doing anything I curled my hair and that was about it I'm having a bit of a DIY like I need to just like mentally just get myself in a better place because for some reason I'm just I'm just like meh like meh Anyway, Stefan brought home this little cabinet from, um, it was at one of his customers' houses, uh, and they was like, we don't want that anymore, do you want it? So he brought it home. This was quite some time ago. Grey is not part of my colour scheme. I do not ha have any grey in this house, apart from the couch. <laughs> Forget that. Just ignore that. But yeah, so grey is not part of my vibe, right? So, I'm going to paint it. We keep the top, this wood, wooden thing, obviously, because that is my vibe. Um, but this, I've got this little tester pot of paint, of which I did not like on the wall, but I might like it on this. I'm just going to see what it looks like. So I thought I would just film that, because that's going to make me feel better. You know, a little bit of DIY, love that for us. Also, it has these little chrome things already on it, uh, handles. Oh, I've got some handles and I got 10 of them from eBay for another little project that I'm working on currently. And I thought, I wonder where that they will go. So these are like a gold Mexican shape. So let's pretend that this, let's pretend that this is cream and we've got the little gold thing there. So we're going to see what that looks like. So whilst I, I'm doing it in the living room. And I know that that's probably not wise, but I am doing it on some cardboard. Again, probably not the best idea, but you know, I don't want to go outside. It's cold and it's grey and it looks like it's going to rain. So as a consequence, I am painting in the living room and it's a good job Stefan's not here because he would probably be like, you are not okay, hon. So, mm, I am sick, right? I love my dog. The, to the end of the earth and beyond, but this house never looks tidy when he's here. I just can't cope with it.
song is by five. Alexa, stop. Oh, fucking hell. Good morning, angels. That's my jam. You gonna say it? Good morning. Good morning, happy Saturday. I made a terrible error in my judgment two times. First of all, I haven't washed my hair last night, which <laughs> I'm really regretting now because sometimes, you know when you just, it's not even that greasy, it just needs a freshen up. And my second error, um, I've been using tanning drops in my moisturizer uh, and as a consequence, I have now got what we used to call, do excuse my French, slag lines. Do we all remember them? They used to come here, I probably still have one of them as well. But yeah, I've now got like, just tan marks all the way around my hairline. <laughs> so, yeah. Happy Saturday. It's currently 10.30 in the a.m. We have had a lie in this morning, haven't we, babes? Yeah. But I feel all right. We haven't got any major plans on, oh. Spark, you doing that, it's these new lips. <laughs> so your new lips? No, my original lips. <laughs> My mum said I just looked like me when I was younger. He's not a fan. I don't think he's a fan of the new lips. But anyway, I don't do it for the for the man, I do it for me. So I'm just making a little coffee now <clears throat> before we go to the gym. Oh, camera battery, hang on. Not sure if I updated this vlog or mentioned it on another video, not sure. Anyway, last week I had, so I had three batteries. I'm not gonna bore you with this story, but I had three batteries for this camera. Two of them, one I lost, the second one I had to sell with one of my cameras that I sold. And then the third one was not a genuine Canon battery. God forbid, please, officers, lock me away and throw away the key. But I've used this, this counterfeit, we'll call it, battery for years. Never had a problem, never been an issue. All of a sudden now that I've got no other batteries to back me up, can't use it. Anyway, so I've had to pay 68 pounds for that new battery. And I, I, I am a... a would you say I'm stingy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a stingy bitch. I'm not a stingy bitch. And I will fritter away 70 pounds. But I just think, just, but anyway. You contemplate buying another counterfeit batch. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are proper stingy. I said, babe, what do you think? Do I, do I pay 68 pounds for a Canon one or do I just get another dodgy one? It's from Duracell. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I've ended up getting um, a new battery that needs charging now. Oh, and the counterfeit battery's working again. Anyway, I, I did say I wasn't gonna bore you with that story, but I'm sure you're asleep now. So yeah, so we're just having a little coffee. Are we taking it on the way? Yeah. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. I've trained every day this week. Just have heard of that. <laughs> I've made sure he's aware of that. I've trained every single day this week. Um, and my body feels like it's aching, very much so, everywhere. But tomorrow, I'm going for a smear test. So, and I'm not embarrassed to say that because as we as women should not be embarrassed to talk about things like that. And I just wanna show like awareness because I know that a lot of people, a lot of girls don't have them done, refuse to have them or are scared of having them. And honestly, like it's my second smear. And the only thing that scares me is like when I've had it done, the weight in then just to make sure obviously everything's okay. Like detect early signs of yeah. cancer. So therefore it would prevent it. Yeah. So smear tests obviously it will detect any early signs of cancer and that's why they are so, so important. So if you are scared of having them, because I think like if you have a period every month, that's the kind, like you, you're used to that pain anyway. From what I can remember, it's kind of a more of a sting, a little bit of a sting. I, I had a coil fitted and removed last year, which was one of the most excruciating times of my life. Am I right? Can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah, sister. <laughs> but this is like just nothing fits like that was horrendous. I think I mean I, I don't know why I'm telling you all this now, but the most important thing to do is relax when you're having your smear test and it doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> Nice camera on me. <laughs> oh, there he is. See where they were indicating them, baby. It was that funny. What was funny about that? Because <laughs> you said you saw that guy indicating. Oh, he, he never no, indicated. No, he wasn't indicating. Sorry. Anyone else's boyfriend loved to just pick up little things when they're driving. 
We're okay anyway, we come out of it on, is it unscathed? Unscathed, yeah, yeah. bad yeah. skin of bad teeth. Yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. But then because he was a man and he was in a bigger car than me and he was like, Ugh. So we've been to the gym, we had a good little session there. I did legs, obviously, as you saw. Stefan did. Chest. Did you enjoy your little session there? Yeah, it was a good session. Then we've been to pick Charlie B up. God, look at my barnet. And now we're just on our way home to have something to eat. I am starving. Have you got anything you want to say? No. No? What are you having to eat? I don't know yet. But yeah, I actually turned the camera on to be, you know, inspirational. I was uh, not going to come to the gym. Um, just because, well, I just wasn't. And I decided that I was going to go. And if you watched last week's vlog, where I said, like, you will never ever regret a workout. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right. You said you felt broken this morning. I did, I felt like a broken woman. I've still got toothpaste in my mouth. Let me see. Can't oh, see it. can't see it. I can taste it. Yeah, so we're gonna have something to eat and then, oh, just chill, I think. I, I just fancy just putting telly on, putting goggle box on or something. Oh! Whoa! He's not got his seatbelt on. Who's premium without his seatbelt? He's, he's something, took it off. <laughs> he's unclipped himself. Get back. You bastard. I'm ready, ready legs. legs. Hello sisters, voiceover JB is back. I just wanted to quickly tell you what I had for lunch that day because it was so nice. I mixed two tins of tuna with some cheese, some uh, like grated cheese, mayo, mustard. I chucked in some um, diced onion and some sweet corn and then I put it into one of these little tortilla wraps and then I fried it in the pan and it was so simple and it was absolutely delicious. It was so, so good. Hello angels, happy Sunday. Good afternoon. Well, we watched a bit of telly, didn't we? Then we were on our phones. And then as per usual, I was rushing about getting ready to go for a little family meal, which was dead nice, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. For a little Indian. This morning, we've just been in done the food shop and now we're on our way to go and get my smear test. And I'll be honest, I've not been myself this morning. I've been a bit quiet because I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive. The whole deal, the whole getting your lady bits out, it's not pleasant. Yeah, so I'm not looking forward to it, I'm not. Not that anybody would look forward to it, but yeah, I didn't think I was bothered, but I think I clearly am. Because I do feel a little bit nervy. I feel like a bit of a ner ner nervous Norris. What's the crack with it? Do you get the results there and then? Or? No. Get back to you. Yeah, they send them through. So I feel very tense, very tense indeed. But once it's over and done with, I'm sure I'll be absolutely fine. You can put a little bit of like Marvin Gaye, let's get it on. <laughs> Is that not even Marvin Gaye? <laughs> yes, I think so. Is yeah. It? Yeah. That might chill you out there. Oh, it's gonna get some little paracetamols just to take away the sting, and then I forgot. Uh, Why well, is it like a little scratch then that they do something inside? Take a little. I think. So they, I might even ask them what they do. I know they put like a, a, a thing, insert, they insert a thing into your, thing. <laughs> into your thing, <laughs> into your little lady bit and open it. And then I think they have a look. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Take like, a, what I think, oh, it's going through me now thinking about it. I think it'll take like a really long um, cotton bud. You know what you clean your ears out with? Q-tip and like scrape the sides and that stings, that bit stings. But like I said, you know, I had a coil fitted and a coil removed and that was one of the most excruciating things that I've ever been through. But everybody's different. Some people might have had a coil and it not bother them at all. Um, but it was one of the most excruciating times of my life and having it taken out. If you're a uh, an OG, if you're a regular watcher, you'll know how it got removed. I'm not repeating it. <laughs> Traumatised from that experience, I'll be honest. The thing is, with a lot of these types of things, it's the thought of it that makes it worse. Doing a bit of a meditation the other day, Guy was saying how it's like you, you're making the situation worse for yourself 
by thinking about it in a, in, a, in a negative sense and then when whatever it is that you're worried about you're anxious about whatever it's never as bad as you think it's going to be i'll check in after my smear test wish me luck done and dusted huns it was over in seconds the lady was really really nice and she just said um she asked me my date of birth the date of my approximately the date of my last period which i don't know about you girls but i can never ever remember it off the top of my head because for some reason or the past couple of times i've been on my period i haven't logged it on my flow app which i usually use just kept forgetting anyway so i give i just threw a random date out and then you go behind this little curtain and take your pants off and your knickknacks and your socks and your shoes and then cover yourself with a little bit of tissue paper um, and then the mistake I made was looking at the instrument that she was using, the long glass thing. Don't know what it's called, there is probably a name for it. Yeah, she was literally over within seconds. She was like, right, you're done. And I was like, oh, I was expecting something so much worse. Um, I've got like a little bit of pain in my tummy now, but I don't know whether that's just in my head. Probably it is. Um, but yeah, done and dusted, well worth it. Um, obviously to know that everything is all good in the hood what else was i going to say oh she did say that there's like quite a backlog with results which is frustrating but it can take up to six weeks for your results to come back just to make sure everything's hunky-dory but other than that all done and dusted okay my darlings so that's going to go ahead and conclude this little vlog yes i know blonde i'm back to original jb the identity crisis has been reversed and we are now back to our blonde selves and i'm not sorry i'm not sorry about it but we are now on a massive her journey if we weren't already we certainly are now so i am going to be slathering myself in rosemary oil is it rosemary or rose hip not sure rubbing my scalp until the cows come home to grow some new beautiful hair because <laughs> let me tell you i literally look like Angelina's doll from the Rugrats. So yes, thank you so so much for watching another little vlog of mine. I really really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already. Go over to my Instagram and follow me. It's at Jodby underscore. As always, Huns, I hope that you and your families are all keeping safe and well and happy. Go into this next week, smashing them goals and working towards them dreams. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Mwah.